Hey guys, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my size 3mm hook, my measuring tape, my stitch markers, and my yarn. So this is a lightweight yarn. You can use any fingery weight yarn or spot weight yarn of your choice. Depending on how light you want the yarn to be, you can, sorry, you want the project to be. You can even use a weight 4 yarn, although I would advise you use a lightweight yarn so the dress is not so heavy. Since it's a summer yarn and you want... It's to be quite breezy so to get started you can start by taking a measurement of your waist so you're going to work with the lower part of the dress and then we we'll work on the upper part of the dress and rather with the lower part of the dress so start by measuring your waist my waist is currently 34 inches and that is the measurement I'm going to use now for the foundation chain you're going to make a chain in multiples of nine so the amount of chains you do for your foundation should be in multiples of 9, it can be 9, it can be 18, as long as it's divisible by 9. I'm just going to do this and I'll let you know how many chains I end up doing. Okay, so I did a total of 160 chains and this is in multiples of 9. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join the two ends together. For the first row, start by chaining one. In the first four stitches, go in with one double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and go into the third stitch. Two double crochets. One, two. Chain two. Go back into the same stitch with two double crochets. Skip the next two stitches. Go into the next four stitches with four double crochets. One. Two, three, four. Skip the next two stitches. Go into the next, the third stitch with two double crochets. Chain two. Go back into the same stitch with two double crochets. So I'm just going to call this stitch a shell stitch, so I don't have to keep on repeating going with two double crochets. Now you're going to skip the next two stitches. One, two. The next four stitches go in with one double crochet. One, two, three, four. Skip two stitches and go into the third stitch with your shell stitch. Chain two and go back in into a crochet. So you're putting one double crochet in four stitches in the first four stitches. Skip two stitches, go into the third stitch with a shell stitch. After the shell stitch, you're going to skip the next two stitches and go into the next four stitches with one double crochet. So you're going to do this till you get to the end of the row. Now I've come to the end of the first row. Skip the last two stitches and slip stitch into the chain one of your first stitch. For the second row, start by chaining one. In the very first stitch, go in with one double crochet. Now in the next three double crochet stitches, go in with one double crochet. Two. Three and four. You have a total of four double crochets. Yarn over, 
Skip those two double crochet stitches. Go directly into the chain two space with a shell stitch. So two double crochets. One, two, chain two. Go back into the same stitch with two double crochets. Skip these two double crochet stitches, go into the next four double crochet stitches with one double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Go directly into this chain to space with a shell stitch. One, two, Chain two, go back into the chain two space with two double crochets. Go into the next four double crochet stitches with one double crochet. So you're skipping this two double crochets of the shell stitch and you're going into the four single double crochets. So one, two, three. Go directly into this chain two space with a shell stitch. Chain two and go back in with two double crochets. So from this point, this is what you're going to be doing. When you get to the shell stitch, go into the chain two space with two double crochets, chain two and go back into the same chain two space with two double crochets. And then when you get to your four double crochet stitches, you're just going to put one double crochet in each of the four double crochet stitches. Now I'm going to repeat row two till I have the until I'm slightly above my knee and I'll show you what to do next. Definitely I'll let you know how many rows I end up doing. But you're just alternating between four double crochets and a shell stitch. So I did a total of 40 rows alternating between double crochet and the shell stitch. Now for the 41st row, I'm going to start by increasing so for that, I'm going to start by chaining one, which I already did. In the first stitch, in this first four double crochet stitches, go in with one double crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, and four. Now before the shell stitch, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Go into the shell stitch with a shell stitch, two double crochets. Chain two and go back in with two double crochets. Chain three. In this next four double crochet stitches, go into each stitch with one double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Chain three. Go into the next shell stitch with a shell stitch. So two double crochets, chain two and go back in with two double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. Go into the next four double crochet stitches with one double crochet in each stitch. Chain three, one two three go into the next shell stitch with a shell stitch so you're alternating between a chain three before the shell stitch and then a chain three before the next double crochet stitches you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row i'm at the end of the 41st row chain three and slip stitch into this chain one you did at the beginning of the row to close up the round. For the fourth second row, start by chaining one. In the first four stitches, go in with one double crochet. One, two, three, and four. 
Now you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. In this chain one, chain three space, sorry, go in with one double crochet. Now continue with one double crochet in the next two double crochet stitches. One, two, chain two. Skip this chain two space in the next two double crochet stitches. Go in with one double crochet. One, two. In this chain three space, go in with one double crochet. Now chain four. The four double crochet stitches go in with one double crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four. Chain four. One, two, three, four. In this chain three space, go in with one double crochet. Now in this next two double crochet stitches, go in with one double crochet in each stitch one two chain two skip the chain two space and go into the next two double crochet stitches with one double crochet in this chain three space go in with one double crochet chain four go into the four double crochet stitches with one double crochet so you're just going to be alternating this till you get to the end of the row I've come to the end of the 42nd row and I slip stitched to close up the round for the 43rd row. Chain 1. In the first 4 double crochet stitches, go in with 1 double crochet. 2, 3, and 4. Now chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're going to put one double crochet in each of those double crochet stitches. Now when you get to this chain to space, go in with one double crochet. Chain two. Go back into the same stitch with one double crochet. Now continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip this chain four space, go into the four double crochet stitches with one double crochet in each stitch. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Go into the double crochet stitches till you get to the chain two space. I'm at the chain two space. Go in with one double crochet, chain two, and go back into the same stitch with one double crochet. Now continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Skip the chain four space, go into the next four double crochet stitches with one double crochet in each stitch. So you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row. So now I've come to the end of the 48th row. So from the 44th row all the way down to the 48th row, I repeated the 43rd row. So remember, I went into each stitch, each of the double crochet stitches, with one double crochet in each stitch. And then when I got to the chain two space, I went in with one double crochet, I chained two, and went back into the same stitch with one double crochet. So it's just going to keep on increasing and then you're just going to continue with that. So I repeated the 43rd row like I said all the way down to the 48th row. Now from the 49th row I'm going to be doing something different. 
So I already slip stitched to close up my round. Sorry, the hand keeps splitting. So slip stitch to close up the round. But the 49th row start by chaining one. In each of these double crochet stitches, go in with one double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to skip this first double crochet stitch and go into the next stitch with one double crochet. Continue with one double crochet till you get the chain to space. In this chain two space go in with one double crochet chain two and go back into the same stitch with one double crochet now continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches you're going to skip the last stitch because it skips the first stitch Skip this last double crochet stitch, chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Go into this 4 double crochet stitches with 1 double crochet in each stitch. Chain 4. Skip the first double crochet and go into the next double crochet stitch with 1 double crochet. And continue with one double crochet till you get the chain to space. In the chain two space, go in with one double crochet, chain two, go back into the same chain two space with one double crochet. Now continue with one double crochet in each stitch. You're going to skip the very last double crochet stitch. So from this point, you're going to repeat this till you have the length you want for your dress. So when you get to the four double crochet stitches, you're going to go in with one double crochet in each stitch. And then when you get to this umbrella stitch, you're going to skip the very first stitch and go into the rest of the stitches with one double crochet. And then go into the chain two space with one double crochet, chain two and go back into the same stitch with one double crochet. Then continue with one double crochet in each stitch and skip the very last double crochet stitch. Now I'm done with the lower part of the skirt. You can make it longer or shorter. So I did a total of 8 rows of no increase, making it 16 rows for the flip part of the skirt. So if you remember, I did 40 rows for the main part of the skirt of the dress. And then I did eight rows of increase making it 48 plus eight rows of no increase making it a total of 56 rows now i'm going to work on the upper part of the dress now that i'm done with the lower part so what you're going to do is you're going to attach your yarn so i'm just going to attach my yarn on the seam you can attach your yarn at any point depending on where you want to attach the yarn so i already attached my yarn now start by chaining one In this chain one space or this chain two space go in with two double crochets chain two and go back into the same stitch with two double crochets skip this space and go into the next four double crochet stitches with one double crochet one two three and four in this space go in 
We two double crochet. Chain two. Go back into the same stitch with two double crochets. In this four double crochet stitches, go in with one double crochet in each stitch. Two. Three. And four. Go into the space of the shell stitch with two double crochets. Chain two and go back into the same space with two double crochets. Go into the next four double crochet stitches with one double crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four. In the next shell stitch, go into the middle space with two double crochets, chain two, and go back into the same stitch with two double crochets. So what you're doing is you're repeating what you did for the lower part of the dress. The only thing is now you're walking upward instead of downward. So each time you get to the double crochet stitches, you're going to go into each of the four double crochet stitches with one double crochet in each stitch. And then when you get to the shell stitch, in the middle stitch, you'll be able to see where you're going to be putting your hook. So in this middle stitch, or the space, you're going to go in with a shell stitch. Now I'm going to do this for the upper part of the dress so I don't have to repeat the same thing since I'm doing exactly the same thing I did for the lower part of the dress. I'm going to do this like get the ledge I want or to like get above my bust. I'll let you know how many rows I end up doing but for now I'll just keep on repeating what you did for the lower part of the dress. So I did a total of 15 rows alternating between the shelf stitch and the double crochet stitch. And now this is below my underarm and above my bust. So now I'm going to work on the armholes. So for that, I'm going to separate the front and the back panel to work on a flat sleeve. So I counted nine shells. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I counted nine shells and i put my stitch markers and this is going to be the back panel so i'm going to start by working on the back panel and then we'll work on the front panel so for the back panel i'm going to be repeating what i did for the main body except i'm just going to be working back and forth instead of working in rounds so my yarn is still attached I'm going to remove my stitch marker chain one in this shell stitch go in with a shell stitch so two double crochets chain two and go back into the same stitch with two double crochets now you're going to put one double crochet in the next four double crochet stitches In this shell stitch, go in with two double crochets. Chain two and go back into the same stitch with two double crochets. So like I said, you're repeating what you did for the main body of the dress. And I'm going to do this like get to my stitch marker. So when you get to your double crochet stitches, go in with one double crochet in each stitch. And then when you get to the shell stitch, go in with the shell stitch. So this you get to where you have your stitch marker. Now I've come to where I have my stitch marker. You're going to chain one and turn over. In this first shell stitch, go in with two double crochets. Chain two and go back into the same stitch with two double crochets. In the four double crochet stitches go in with one double crochet in each stitch.
going to the next shell stitch with two double crochets. Chain two and go back into the same stitch with two double crochets. Going to the next four double crochet stitches with one double crochet. So you're just going to keep on repeating this, and I'm going to keep on going back and forth till I have the length I want for my back panel, which I'll let you know how many rows I end up doing. So now I'm done with the back panel, and I did a total of 12 rows of alternating between the shell stitch and the double crochet stitch. Now for the front panel, as you can see, I already did one part. So I used my stitch marker to mark up the middle shell stitch on the front panel. And now I'm just going to show you how I did this panel. So you're going to start by attaching your yarn where you have your stitch marker, which is in this chain to space. So once you've attached your yarn, Once you've attached your yarn in the chain to space, you're going to start by chaining one. In these two double crochet stitches, you're going to do a decrease. Yarn over, going to the first stitch and put through. I have three loops. Put through two. I have two loops. Yarn over, going to the next stitch and put through. I have four loops. Put through two. Put through two and put through two. Now you have those four double crochet stitches. I'm going to go into each of the stitches with one double crochet. One two three three and four in this shell stitch go in with a shell stitch two double crochets chain two and go back into the same stitch with two double crochets You have your four double crochet stitches go into the four stitches with one double crochet in each of them two two three and four you have your shell stitch go into your shell stitch with a shell stitch so you're going to continue with this till you get to this last shell stitch you're going to ignore the last four double crochets so this is going to be the underarm. You're just going to stop at the last shell stitch. Now I've come to the last shell stitch. Chain one. Turn over. You're going to be working between these two ends. So I already have my one part of my front panel and for the second front panel. In this first shell stitch, you're going to go in with a shell stitch two double crochets chain two go back into the same stitch with two double crochets go into the next four double crochet stitches with one double crochet in each stitch so you're just going to do this so you get to the end and i'll show you what i'm going to do at the end of the row Now I've come to the end of the row. I have three double crochets and the last double crochet stitch of the sport double crochet stitch. I'm going to do a decrease in this sport stitch and this last stitch that we joined together from the previous row. So yarn over going to the stitch and pull through. I have three loops, put through two, I have two loops. Yarn over and going to this last stitch and pull through. I have four loops, put through two, put through two, and put through two. So you have a total of four loops left. Chain one. Now from this point, you're just going to repeat what you've been doing for the body of the dress. You're alternating between four double crochets and the shell stitch. Now because I did a total of 12 rows for my back panel, I'm going to do 12 rows for the front panel. So if you have 15 rows for your back panel, you're going to do 15 rows for the front panel. So I'm just going to keep on alternating between the two different stitches till I have a total of 12 rows. Okay, so I'm done with the front panel and I did a total of 12 rows. Now what you're going to do is you're going to join the front panel to the back panel. So I stitched the first three shell stitches. So one, two, three, and then I stopped on the 
short shell stitch and I did that for the other panel one two three and then I left this part out on both sides so now I'm going to start by working on the collar you can start by attaching your yarn at any end I'm just going to attach my yarn at this end okay so once you've attached your yarn start by chaining one in the first stitch go in with one double crochet going to the next stitch with one double crochet you're just going to put one double crochet in each stitch along this chain and you're going to continue all the way through the back panel so you get to the other end of the second part and front panel so you're just putting in one double crochet in each stitch in this chain space go in with two double crochets Continue with one double crochet on top of the next double crochet stitches. In the space, go in with one double crochet. So just continue with one double crochet in each stitch that you get to the end of the row. Now I'm done with the collar and I did a total of 10 rows of double crochet for the collar. So I just worked one double crochet back and forth till I had the length I want for my collar. So if you want your collar to be longer when you fold it, you can do more rows. If you want a shorter collar, you can do less rows. But for this, I did a total of 10 rows for my collar.